Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching Seven Engineers YouTube channel Dear friends in this video lecture today I am going to discuss about M20 materials calculation for RCC slab Let's get start or if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and share this video with your friends and remember if you are new on this channel so must subscribe this channel for more updates Seven Engineering videos Let's get start So M20 material calculation for RCC slab so this is RCC slab which length is 5 meter and breadth is 3 meter and thickness of the slab for M20 grade concrete which is 15 centimeter which becomes 0 0.15 meter. So first of all I have to find the volume of this RCC slab then we can find material calculation. So volume of slab is equal L multiply by B multiply by D. So L is length of the slab, B is breadth of the slab, D is depth or thickness of the slab which is 0 0.15 meter. So volume is equal slab length is 5 meter, breadth is 3 meter multiply 0 0.15 meter is the thickness of the slab. So volume is equal when we multiply these three with each other 5 multiply 3 multiply 0 0.15 so it will comes 6.75 cubic meter but remember this is wet volume okay now we will convert it to the dry volume because we bring from the market dry material we bring cement sand and aggregate dry not wet okay so this is wet volume so we have to convert it to the dry volume so dry volume is equal wet volume multiply 1.54 so it increase 54 percent of wet volume so dry volume is equal wet volume multiply 1.54 so dry volume is equal 6.75 wet volume this one 6.75 multiply 1.54 54% of wet volume it can give us dry volume so is equal 10.39 cubic meter okay so this is the volume so in this volume we will find m20 m20 material calculation for rcc slab in this volume okay so this is the calculation from this slab so 10.39 wet volume uh, dry volume sorry so now for m20 nominal mix the ratio of cement sand and aggregate is 1 1.5 and 3 so m20 ratio is 1 1.5 and 3 1 is cement 1.5 is sand and 3 is aggregate our crush we can say so sum of ratio become 5.5 when we plus with each other so one one plus 1.5 plus 3 so it become 5.5 so therefore quantity of cement for rcc slab in 10.39 cubic meter is this is dry volume okay because this is the dry volume of this slab so we will find the material uh, material uh, means cement and 10.39 cubic meter so is quantity of cement is equal 1 divided by 5.5 why 1 divided by 5.5 because 1 is a cement ratio and divided by 5.5 sum of ratio is this multiply 10.39 we will find cement material uh, cement quantity and 10.39 cubic meter because we will find cement and this RCC slab so therefore multiply 10.39 so when you do multiply, uh, when you do calculation for this, so it will give us 1.88 cubic meter. So we know that weight of cement is 1440 kg per meter cube or cubic meter. So so weight of cement is equal 1.88 is a volume of the cement in this RCC slab. If the volume is 10.39, so 1.88 is a volume of cement. So multiply. 1440 kg why 1440 kg we know that in one cubic meter density of the cement is 1440 kg this one so it will give us 2720 kg total cement kg weight in this rcc slab so divide by 50 it's why because one bake of cement weight is 50 kg so 27 divide uh, 27 20 divide by 50 because one bake is 50 kg so 54.40 numbers of bake are required for this so 54.40 say 
55 numbers of back are required for this RCC slab. If the length is 5 meter, width or breadth is 3 meter and thickness of the slab is 0 0.15 meter. Now, quantity of sand, so 1.5. It's why 1.5 because 1.5 is the ratio of sand. So 1.5 divided by 5.5 sum of ratio is 5.5 and multiply 10.39. Same like this one. Okay, so it will give us 2.83 cubic meter. Volume of sand. Now the volume of aggregate. Quantity of aggregate. So 3. Sum of ratio is 3 for aggregate. 5.1 is a sum of ratio. Multiply 10.39. So it's equal 5.66 cubic meter. Crush or aggregate are required for this slab and 2.83 cubic meter uh, volume of sand is required for this slab and also 55 numbers of cement bag are required for this slab. So if you have any question, so must comments, I will try to reply you answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.